in the previous video, I spoke about the incompatibility of classical and quantum mechanics. And how does this relate to physical space and momentum space? In the earlier videos, I showed you how the ray spaces arises and this correspond to mirror symmetry and projective spaces. I spoke about how these projections related to space-time geometry, how the CP symmetry is violated in some cases, but also I showed you that some of these evolutions are stable. Now, if you look at this image and you write down your equations of Maxwell, you cannot identify certain topological orders behind the Maxwell equations. In order to get better picture, you have to turn to condensed matter physics and symmetry protected topological orders. In the previous video, I introduced you to topology and phases which correspond to angles, the circles of the torus and their formations. I also mentioned that when you apply projections to this topology, you're going to get enhanced symmetries which create higher dimensions while they are not real or not physical in a sense. Now this related to how higher dimensions arise in string theory and also why related to the mathematical description what Richard Borchardt show in his latest lectures. Now to understand this conflict these projections and mirror symmetries are the consequence of ray spaces and their dynamics. I also spoke about an electrostatic problem on a disk. In terms of topology and symmetry protected topological orders, you can understand this the following way. If I show you this image again and you look at the red and the blue sector, you see a point in the center where the blue and the red sector meet. This point is correspond to momentum space. Now this momentum space is protected by symmetry and this correspond to what you call Lorentz symmetry. Now, because this Lorentz symmetry correspond to the electromagnetic wave and the phase angle is also correspond to the stability the fact that your Maxwell theory is linear. However, when you look at a Maxwell theory from this perspective, you can dissect the topological order behind the Maxwell equations. The reason why is this important? Because it's going to give you additional elements which explain a story, such as why our physical universe emerges. Or exist at all. Back in time, there were certain models, started with Lord Kelvin, atomic models, and then later on developed by this gentleman. Now, this model also linked to something called nonlinear sigma model and string theory. After decades, the Skirmions and also the Hoffians has been found experimentally. While most of the physics department stagnated in the last few decades, the only area of science who made significant progress is condensed matter physics. Also, those who are experimentalists and was able to carry out the required effort detect certain phenomena which was theoretically suggested. Now, when you look at Hoffians, I would like to advise you to take a look at this video. Take a look into both Skirmions and Hoffians. When you read all this information, which shown on the screen, give you a little bit of a guide why Skirmions and Hoffians are important. Even though you can find this in relation to 
magnetism. But what you have to understand is that uh, the Higgs phenomenon is a magnetic moment. The title is not a clickbait. In a sense, we are all magnetic patterns of light. This is a result of solitons and the stability or opportunity of that we have physical existence is coming from the existence of these Hopfians, which contribute to the protection which happens in momentum space. Now, when you look at this paper and the description of Hopfions, you can see the structure, how the cohomology ring presented and the description of these knots. Now, when you look at the color manifold and you look at my images and my renders, you see these Hopfions. Now, because this model, which I presented to you, contains only electromagnetism, it tells you that the topological protection and the existence of the universe in physical form is the consequence of the existence of these Hopfions. This topological protection allow the platonic world to emerge from the light rays or the ray spaces, which is the, the dynamics between the momentum space correspond to electromagnetism. How these, how these ray spaces arise in terms of spatial coordinates. Now, when you look at this render, which I showed you before, I spoke about how this process generates angular momentum and how these ray spaces arises from the U1 charges. Now, when, when these generators create these ray spaces, you can understand that these ray spaces act as particles travel on the vertical line. So now these guys suddenly experience space-time out of nowhere. As you can see, this has no past icon. It's coming from a point of origin, which is correspond to this momentum space. In other words, this process doesn't require past or any causal relation to past system state. It's just simply generate these ray spaces. Now, this might be hard to comprehend, but you have to, in a sense, understand the connection between two and three spatial dimensions. How the skirmions and these hopfions contribute to the translations of the physical world from these ray spaces because this is contribute to magnetization and magnetic moments in a sense the geometry which correspond to the mathematics in a sense materialize through this topological protection but it determines what kind of geometry get translated and in what dimensions. Now, I posted a video in the community section by Dr. Ross, and he's an expert on chaotic systems. And in this video, he speaks about torus flow. Now, when you look at this moduli space, you see the same phenomenon, what he speaks about in this video about the torus flow. But you see this in three dimensions. However, the mathematical description is six-dimensional. Now, this moduli space, it contains a parallel transport which the in and outgoing flow on the torus and it contains the hole. And you can see this on the center. You can see this three white ring which have a certain relationship in terms of angles. Now, I spoke about this in the last video, such as when you have a hole on the center of your torus or in your disc, once you start deforming this disk, your one-dimensional orbit is going to interpolate into three dimensions because now the angle of the orbit is changing. When you perform a full deformation of the torus, you allow a completion of every angle of the torus. Hence why these white circles show you this relationship. Furthermore, this hole is correspond to a singularity in a sense. You can understand that this singularity is topologically protected. 
Now, since this moduli space contains the mirror projections, this symmetry should be reduced. However, as you can see, is locked in the moduli space. So now, certain trajectories or orbits, which otherwise wouldn't exist, it becomes real. This is going to show you a conflict where the light rays or the reflections in terms of surfaces experience higher dimensional description. However, in terms of translation, is only exist in three dimensions. In other words, the problem is that even though string theory realizes these higher dimensions, is not provable physically because three plus one dimension is a very special case. It corresponds to this symmetry protection topologically in association to momentum. In the perspective of these reflections, you can associate this with the band structure, and you can see this in this render, we show you this lattice. I constructed this lattice, and this, based on the model, is a photonic lattice, and it corresponds to superconductivity. You can see all the possible symmetries in a smooth, continuous transformation. If you would want to see this, how does this look like? In terms of physical material or matter, it would look like this. Now, since this momentum space is protected with symmetry, now you can look at skirmions and hopfions, because these hopfions ensure this protection, which correspond to the Lorentz symmetry. And the transfer from these generators and the light rays into the physical universe. So, in other words, the skirmions and the hopfions are the door or the gate between the light states and the physical emergence of the universe. In a sense, thanks to the hopfions and skirmions, you and I can exist. Now, when you look into hopfions even deeper, more and more independent research find that hopfions have a certain integer representation which correspond to fermions. And I mentioned that before, that from this model, it looks like fermions are dressed photons. In other words, hopfions act as particles. Not only hopfions act like particles, but also linked to gravity. I spoke about Berry phase and Berry connection before. But the skirmions and the hopfion and the, and the berry phases are all linked to each other. Now, when you add the energy contribution to this, and how is the momentum space correspond to the energy momentum, the inertia and mass generation, just by looking at Maxwell equations, you would never notice this connection. So, when you add this energy contribution, now you have to also deal with certain energy barriers in terms of energy levels, which correspond to the ground states and the excited states, and how these correspond to the wave patterns. When you have to climb an energy barrier, you're going to have an, an excitation, which is going to be represented by this particle-like hopfions. So now, these protected states experience space-time because they have their own world lines. Now when you have world sheets, you can have certain sections where you can have singularities. Now, in optics, you can find different type of singularities. When these singularities are protected by symmetry, then these singularities become real. This correspond to impurities and inclusions. Inclusion, for instance, is that hole on the center of the disk. But also you can find countless amount of holes. Depends on the size of your disk. Or you can consider 
a thin sheet of film. There are people who get PhDs and write papers where they suggest that time is a force field and similar cognitive distortions without actually taking the time and learn a little bit beyond the general physical knowledge. So if you wonder why the current state of physics is this bad as it is at the moment, is because of people write nonsensical papers without understanding actual real physics. The physical world is real. And no, we are not dreaming. What I present to you is none of this something I invented. This is already exist. Other people already worked this out. So I'm not telling you anything new. I'm just showing to you where to look and how much garbage exists in this so-called scientific world have nothing to do with reality.